Lift up your voice. Give God praise. Just lift up your voice and give him praise. I can't hear your voice. I can't hear your voice. My voice cannot be louder than your own. My voice cannot be louder than this congregation. Lift up your voice and just give Jesus praise. Just give Jesus praise. Just give Jesus praise. Just give Jesus praise. Do I have people who are alive in this house tonight? Just give Jesus praise. Now can you lift up your voice and ask God for an encounter this night? Ask God for an encounter tonight. Ask God for an encounter tonight. The Bible says in the book of Genesis, it said that when Jacob slept, that night the angel of the Lord appeared and Jacob had a dream that he was in the in the in the place where angels were ascending and descending when he woke up he said surely the lord was in this place and i knew not may it not be that the lord is here for an encounter and you are not aware can you lift up your voice and cry out for an encounter cry out for an encounter oh god Oh God, like Jabez tonight, I say enlarge my coast. Like Jabez tonight, I say enlarge my coast. Like Jacob tonight, I say I will not let you go. I will not let you go. I will not let you go. Rata paratia kapaite. Eredelia kombra sila paraite. Rata paboria kapa. Eredele gedia kapaite. Rata pandelia kapaite. Eratai kopa sala. Yes, you are coming up now. You are coming up now. You are coming up now. Can you lift up your voice and pray? Shabarata. Eratia la kapaite. Rabanda la gadia kapata. This is light of crusade. This is the time of revival. Rakabala dai kapratila. Oh God. Oh God. Eratabala dia kapa. The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, it said that Moses said, he said, I wish that all the Lord's sons are prophets. I wish that everyone here will raise up a cry and say, oh God, encounter me tonight. Encounter me tonight. Encounter me tonight. Encounter me tonight. My brother pray. My sister pray. Raka Baba Lataya. Oh God, let there be an encounter. Let there be an encounter. Raka Baba Lataya. Erre Delegadia Kabaiti. Erre Baboria Tabala. Raka Tamba Latia. Erre Baboria Kabaiti. Tonight, the Lord's Spirit will be led on some of us. Some of us will literally carry the fire. Some of us will literally carry the fire. Can you lift up your voice one more time and ask that let there be an encounter in my life. Let there be an encounter in my life. Rata baladai, rata baria kapaya. Some of you literally, literally you carry the fire. You carry the fire. You carry the fire. You carry the fire. Rata baya. Aha. You're still coming up. You're still coming up. 
until we are prayed we will not read the scripture because the bible said the time has come the hour has come and now is the hour that the father seeks the true worshipers that means god is seeking god is seeking there is something god wants to do but until he finds men 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 the bible says in ezekiel for i sought for a man god is not searching for too many people god is just looking for one man god is not searching for too many god is just searching for one man he said how i wish all the lord's sons are prophets that he will lay his hands on them tonight some of us the fire will drop in your spirit the fire will drop in your spirit the fire will drop in your spirit i see the hand of the lord coming upon some of us is coming upon some of us is coming upon some of us you will carry the fire 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 rata parataya eredelia kapa eredelia kapa eredelia kapa rata paria kapaite era papola taya rata palia kapaite na eredelia kapaya exalt like the horn of the unicorn and thou shall anoint my head with fresh oil there is an anointing of God's spirit that he will put upon some of us that he will put upon some of us you will go out from this place you will become liquid fire you will become a mobile fire you will become a carrier of fire you will become a carrier of fire you will become a carrier of fire yes 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 jesus jesus help that sister there the fire is coming the fire is coming the fire is coming say my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of the unicorn can we lift up our voices and pray oh lord exalt my horn oh lord exalt my horn aparatila kapaya era baboria kaba era taka parata era taka paladiata era delegatia kapaite anoint my head exalt my horn and anoint my head
Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. Now, what we just did is not necessarily prayers. What we did was just, we, we put our hearts together so that we can receive from the Lord. But in the next couple of minutes, maybe 15 minutes, we'll, still, we'll now rise up and then pray. But what we just did now was so that we can receive from God. You know, God is a spirit. And there is a kind of way that you must learn to receive from the spirit or from a spirit. So what we just did was to align our hearts on how to receive from the spirit. When we rise up to pray, then we can be able to, to minister and see what the Lord will do. Amen. I said, Amen. I said, Amen. Look at somebody by your side, give them a warm handshake and tell them welcome to church. You're doing it religiously. I said look at somebody with a smile, with a smile on your face. Okay, stand up from your chair, greet three people and tell them welcome to church. Three people, if they are not up to three, don't stop. Welcome to church. Welcome to the presence of the Lord. Welcome to the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. First, we want to thank God for the honor and the privilege of being here this night. And we want to sincerely, from our heart, appreciate our father and our fathers. First and foremost, we want to send our sincere appreciation to Daddy Gio. Please, can we, in honor of God, just rise and celebrate Pastor E.A. E. Adeboe for giving us this great platform. Hallelujah. For making himself available for God's use. And by extension, I would want to appreciate the leadership of the Light Up Campus Crusade. Everyone that puts hand on deck to make sure that this is a reality. Thank you very much and it's such an honor and a blessing to be here. And I will not forget to thank our fathers of faith on this campus. You see, most of us just resume from break. And there, there are men that don't go on break. Because the moment they go on break, in fact, we'll be broken will not only be broken, but broken into pieces. But uh, they have watched and stood the fourth for the body of Christ to advance even in this land. And I would like to, us to appreciate the great chaplain of this chaplaincy, our dear father. Thank you very much, sir. And mommy, thank you, ma. And also the patron of the RCF on this campus. Please, can we salute him? Thank you very much, sir, for coming. Amen. Praise the Lord. And all great ministers of God, thank you very much. God bless you. Please, you can be seated. Hallelujah. Um, let me do a Bible study for 15 minutes so that we can rise up and pray. Is that all right? I said hallelujah. You see, after... A very long time when I stay on stage, it's, it's very hard for people to reply my amen. Hallelujah. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's very hard. Can you give the Lord a thunderous amen? amen? All right, John chapter 1. John 
chapter number one. Read a very few scriptures. Share God's insight with us as we proceed. John chapter one, I read from verse one. The Bible says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was with God in the, the same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. Now, this is my point of emphasis. He said, in him was life. And the life was the light of men. Verse 5, and the light shineth in darkness. And darkness comprehended it not. Verse 4, John chapter 1, verse 4. The Bible says that in this word of God, if you read from verse 1, what the scripture began to say was that there is a certain mystery that is in godliness, which happens to be that the word was with God and the word itself was God and the same word was with God from the beginning. It's, it's part of what Paul will call the mystery of godliness. It cannot be explained. There is no way that you can be able to unravel such a mystery. And the Bible went further not to leave us in darkness, but it says that in him was life. That means that there is something that can be able to give you life, but you will not be alive. There is something that can be able to make you move, but you are not yet alive. But in this word of God, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. Are we together? In him was life, and the life became the light of men. That means that if every man or any man becomes anything in this life, becomes a star in his own life, or in his own time, or in his own generation, he did not only become it because he was created a man, or he was created a woman. He became it because he gave... Um, expression to a certain kind of life that became a light. Do you understand what I said? Do you, hello? He gave expression to a particular kind of life and then that life became his light. The, when Paul was writing one of the scriptures, he said, be careful that your light be not turned to darkness. That means that there is a kind of light that darkness can be able to express. I hope you know that the Bible says that Satan was a former angel of light. Satan served before God as, as a, both a cherubim and a seraphim. The Bible says he was, a, he was a covering cherub and then he moved in the coals of the fire. That means that he served both as a cherubim and as a seraphim. And by the reason of his stay before the presence of the Lord, he knew the tactic of how that you can be able to form into a particular light. If you study your Bible, the Bible says that the Satan can appear as an angel of light. So it is possible for you to shine a light that does not have the life of God in it. But it is not possible for you to have the life of God and not shine a light. That means that every man that carries the presence of God has an expression of a particular kind of light. And if you are not shining, it means that the life of God that you say you carry should carry a very mighty question mark. Because when you read verse 5, the Bible says that, and the light shines in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. Darkness does not know how to comprehend this kind of a light. And don't forget that the foundation of this kind of a light comes from the life of God. So tonight, if your life is not 
interwoven and mingled with the life of God. Whatever it is that you are doing, whether right or wrong, before God, you are not making any sense. And very soon you will discover that it does not matter how old you are. What matters is how much of this life of God you've given yourself to. Are we together? I said, are we together? Every man that must become a light in his generation must give an expression to the life of God that he has received. But the problem is that we, we want to shine the light without first living the life. When you read your Bible in Acts chapter 1 verse 1, the Bible says, Luke was writing to Theophilus. He said, um, the former treatise that I wrote to you, O Theophilus, about all that Jesus began both to do and to teach. It means that the man had gave an expression to a certain kind of lifestyle before he began to teach that kind of a lifestyle. Before you become a force to be reckoned with, you must understand that there is a particular kind of life you must give yourself to. You don't expect to live your life the way you want it and express the light of God. Because the light of God is only expressed by the life of God. When we check your life and we see who you are submitting to, we will know the kind of brightness that is shining in your life. We live in a generation that we believe all that glitters is gold. We believe that every gathering that they call the name of Jesus, Jesus is, is inside that place. We believe that where there is miracles, it means Jesus is there. But what we are saying is that there is nobody who can be able to do a miracle that is from God. Who is shining the light of God that is, that is lacking in the life of God. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, it says, Shall, Will you light a candle? And put it under a bushel. That means that when you are giving expression to the life of God, you would have a light that cannot be hidden. There will be something that you will carry that will not, you can, even you, you cannot be able to control it. And every man that became an ensign in his generation, I'm not talking about standing before a crowd and preaching. Because there were, there were prophets and prophetesses in the scripture who never had a congregation, but they shone the light of God so well because of the way their life was expressed by the life of God. In fact, the death of Simeon was paused because he was such a light and his only duty was that he should see the Messiah and dedicate him. It does not matter where you are standing. Between where you are and where you desire to be is the life of God that you carry. Between where you were coming from and where you are standing is because of the life of God you've decided to give expression to. Let me tell you, staying long in church does not make you a light. Staying long as a Christian does not make you a light. What makes you a light is the amount of your, your yieldedness to the government of the Spirit of the Lord. Are we together? I said, are we together? And the life of God can be expressed or can be seen in a man that it has been submitted under the government of God. When you are not submitting under the government of God, it means that there is nothing about the life of God that can be expressed through your vessel. You know, the problem is not even in the light, it's in the life. The moment you don't have the life, whatever you are shining is not, there is no definition to it. We will not have, there is no basis. 
The government of God is the determinant factor of whether a man is living in the center of the government of God or the, or the life of God. If the government of God is not what rule over you, the will of God is not what precedes over your decisions. The will of God is not what determines where you go. The will of God is not what determines what you do. It means that you are living a separate life apart from the life of God. And I hope you know that there are different stages in the life of a man. It is possible that you are breathing air but you are not living the life of God. It is possible that you are living 130 years, but yet there is nothing of God that can be expressed through your vessel. How we know that you are shining as light is how much of God's life that is expressed in your vessel. So if we cannot trace the life of God to your life, there is nothing about your light that will shine. In fact, there will be no light not to talk of shining. You know, most of us determine our lives by, by how many Facebook friends we have. You think you're making wave and you're being relevant because when you made a post, 100 people liked it. It is far from that. It's, it's very far. Your journey is, is from here to Sokoto. If that is what you think, you're very, very far. What makes a man alive is how much of God is expressed in that vessel. The Bible says in the book of Timothy, one of the epistles of Paul to Timothy, he said in a great house, there are many vessels. He said someone to honor, someone to dishonor, some of wood and of earth. He said, but if a man purges himself, he will become a vessel unto honor. That means that the duty of how much of God's life being expressed through your vessel is not, is not God's duty, it's your duty. How much of God's life you carry is not God's duty. God is willing to pour out as much as you want to carry. God is willing to give you as much as you want. Many of us think that we are more ambitious than God. But you're not. God is more ambitious than you think. Many of you think that God, God, what God wants to do is just to keep you in perpetual poverty. God wants to give you more money than you want to ever have. But there is a certain kind of way God wants that to be expressed. And that would have to be when you have willingly submitted yourself to his government in a great house. There are many vessels, some of wood and of earth. Some of clay, someone to honor and someone to dishonor. But what happens if a man purges himself? It's not about who has life or who does not have it. It does not matter about who will give it or who will not give it. It's all determined by you and me. How much you are, you are willing to submit under his government and take up of his life. Is how much of his light you will carry. Suddenly, on the campus, you become a light because you're carrying the life of God. Suddenly, your family, you become a light because you're carrying the life of God. Suddenly, your community, you become a light because you're carrying the life of God. And how much of his life you carry is how much you are willing to submit. You know, God will never take a man beyond his level of obedience. Where your obedience stops is where God stops. How far you're willing to obey God is how far he's willing to go with you. The light is expressed through his life. And you can never have his life when you have not submitted under his government. Tonight we'll have a time and a moment of prayer. We are going to pray and ask the Lord that let his life be expressed through our lives. Let his life be expressed through our lives. There are many times that
that they will know that indeed there is a witness of God upon the campus. Tonight we are going to pray. Lord, let your life be expressed through my life. Can you just bow down your heads and let's pray. Let your light, let your life be expressed through my vessel. I know you are a prayer warrior. I know you are a prayer. But how much of God's light is being emitted through your prayer life? How much light can the nation see when they look at you? In your department, what's your testimony? In your fellowship, what's your testimony? On the campus, what's your testimony? Lord, oh, there is something God wants to do with you, but it cannot find expression except that his life finds expression in your life. Except that his light, his life is being expressed in your life. There is something God wants to do. There is something God wants to do. There is something God wants to do. In the name of Jesus. Before we begin to pray, I want to pray for just one set of people. You are here. And you want to tell God that you want his light to shine through your life. But like I said, his light cannot shine except you have his life. You are here and you say, I want to yield. I want to yield to this life of God. You may be born again. But you want to yield to the life that only God can give. You want the life of God to be mingled in your life. I want you to stand up from where you are sitting and join me here. We don't have all the time. We, are, we want to pray. If you are here. You know that the life of God is not fully expressed in your life. Just rise up. And come to the front. Just rise and come. You know that there is something God wants to do with your life. You know that there is something God wants to do with your life. And you want to say, I want my life to express the life of God. I want my life to express the life of God. I want my life to express the life of God. I want my life to express the life of God. Those of us in front, my brothers, there is none of us, including myself, who is better than you. The same blood Jesus shed for me is the same one he sheds for you. And I'm in no way more advantaged than you are. Because I was, I, every one of us was at that point where Jesus had to pick him from somewhere. Can you lift up your voice and ask God to, to give you his life this night? And those of us behind, stretch forth your hands towards them. Let's intercede. Stretch forth your hands and let's pray. 
you're in the congregation and you know you know that there is something God wants to do with your life you know that there is something mega God wants to do with you but you don't have the life of God can you rise up from where you are sitting and join us in front Can you lift up your voice and pray? Can you lift up your voice and pray? Lord! In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight we pray that the life of God will be expressed through your vessel. The life of God will be expressed through these ones. In the name of Jesus. May God have his way in your life. May God have his way in your life. In the name of Jesus. I said in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can all the church shout a louder amen? amen? I said can we shout a loudest amen? amen. All right. Uh, please, where are the counselors? Okay. Um, please, can you look at me? Just go through this way. Some people would attend to you, take your details, and God bless you. You will join us in the service quickly. Can we celebrate them as we rise on our feet? I want us to pray. Rise up on your feet. I want you to pray just one prayer. Lord, I want to shine your light. Can you lift up your voice and just pray? Lord, let my life shine your light. Can you lift up your voice and pray? just end here. It's something we carry on. Uh, we carry on. Prayer is not, is not something that has end points. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Um, quickly, I would like to invite uh, the person of Pastor Hewai Belo to round up. Pastor Hewai Belo, please. Pastor Hewai Belo. Let's, let's join our hands together.
Oluwambe Nori Ayemi The meaning of that song is this That the hand of the Lord is upon me It lifts me And it grants me accelerated speed It may look like I am slow in the beginning but once the light of God enters, it gives me a speed beyond my ability, beyond my knowledge, beyond my qualification, such that I begin to see things in the realms of the spiritual. I begin to hear the inaudible. I begin to see the invisible. And I walk in the reality of that realm such that i operate by laws and protocols that rule and govern over the laws and protocols that rule the earth lift up your two hands wherever you are for somebody whose amen can sound like thunder i decree you enter into accelerated speed amen. there's somebody here tonight listen bring the music down don't worry we will still have time to worship we are about to close Everything about your life has been slow. You never entered on time. You started school late. You got into secondary school. You wasted one year at home before you entered school. You are in the university. You wrote jam twice or three times before they gave you the course you were looking for. It looks like as if at every junction of your life, you are always later than your mates. Lift up your two hands. I decree over you right now by the encounter of tonight's meeting, by the encounter with the light of Christ, Wherever you have been delayed, you receive accelerated speed. Amen. Your locality should not determine your glory. That you are in Yola does not mean that somebody who is in America is more prosperous than you. The Bible says an Isaac, there was famine in that land. An Isaac sowed in that land. And that same year, he ripped a hundredfold. Lift up your two hands. For somebody whose amen carries fire, your glory will move from local to global. Amen. The word of God has been spoken over your lives tonight. But do you know that there are some people, the word of God has not made any effect over their lives. The Bible says, and Jesus entered into the city. And after spending some days, he left. The Bible says he was not able to perform one single miracle. How did a whole city receive Jesus for more than a day? And not one of them could say that they had an encounter. The Bible says the Son of the Lord came. The light of the world came and they knew him not. But let me say this to you. While other people are sharing their testimony, your mouth will not be silent. Amen. about the light the Bible says in him was light and the light was the life of men and the light shines in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend it darkness cannot understand it darkness cannot intimidate it darkness cannot stop it darkness cannot delay it darkness cannot deny it darkness cannot hinder it and that is why with confidence in the word of God tonight I can decree that if your faith can connect with God's word, if your faith can connect with God's word, if your faith can connect with God's word, I decree before your enemies see you coming, you will have reached your promised land. In the mighty name of Jesus. Have you ever written an exam? Where before you enter the examination hall, you, it was you people were asking questions i don't understand this topic teach me you were teaching them and they were like ah thank god and you enter the examination hall and then the results come out and the students are getting a's and b's and c's and the professor the lecturer the one who taught them what they wrote in the exam is getting d e f carry over you labor for others it works for them but when you labor for yourself you do not see results I decree for somebody here whose amen will sound like thunder. In the rest of this year and for the rest of your life, every labor shall be fruitful in the name amen. of Jesus. Amen. There's a 
prayer I prayed over a few students during a campus invasion like this. I said, I learned it when I was, I heard it from one of our fathers. The prayer is so simple. He prayed for us. And I will pray for you now, but I will share it. When it happened to me, that was when I understood the prayer. I was given an assignment. And in, some, in, in part of that assignment, I knew myself that if I were to judge myself, I would give myself F. But surprisingly, surprisingly, on the day I did well, was the day the overall boss decided to show up. He was not there the day I messed up. But he showed up on the day I did well. And because of that day, I got promoted. People wrote, if you go and look at his past record, see his performance, why will you just promote him over those? And the boss said, I was not there in the past record. But I saw what I saw. And based on what I saw, I promoted him. I will pray that prayer for you now. And it, you might not understand, but say amen. The prayer is that from today, <laughs> by the light of Christ God will cover your errors and color your efforts God will cover your errors and color your efforts on the day you are not prepared they will not set examinations on the day you are not ready there will be no tests and as the light of God enters into you, every day of your life, God will have you ready in the name of Jesus. If you have your phones with you, please switch on your lights now. Quickly. Switch on your touch lights. Switch on your we ascend the highest mountain It's the mountain of the Lord By the Lord By the Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down Lift up your light There is a culture we have in Reach for Christ Whenever we go anywhere for our light up crusades and that culture is that we should shine our light. Now, this is not the light. This is just a symbolic representation of the light. And we are going to make a declaration over this university, over this land, over this state, and over this country. So when I say, light up Modibo Adama University, you will shout, we reach for Christ. Because you see, when you become a light, God now be... The Bible says in his light, we have found light. We have seen light. And as the Lord begins to make you light, other people begin to find their light in your light. When Jesus was physically here on earth, he said, I am the light of the world. But when he left... And went back and was ascended into glory. He said, Ye are the light of the world. And so that means that in your light, in the light of your destiny, somebody's faith can say, If you did it for I, your God, you can do it for me. If you moved mountains and took cities and territories through this young woman, then God, while I'm here, you can use me too. So when I say, Light up Modibo Adama University, you will shout, we reach for Christ. When I say, we reach for Christ, you will shout, we shine the light. And when I say, we shine the light, you will decree, no more darkness. So we take it one after the other. Light up Modibo Adama University, we reach for Christ. Light up Modibo Adama University. When I say we reach for Christ, you will shout, we shine the light. We reach for Christ. We shine the light. 
That when I say we shine the light, you declare no more darkness. We shine the light. No more darkness. All right, now we are getting it. 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 Light up Modibo Adama University. We reach for Christ. We reach for Christ. We shine the light. We shine the light. No more There is somebody here. The Bible says that kings shall come to the glory of your rising. You may be in Yola, but I'm, I'm speaking to somebody whose destiny is hungry. Glory will come to you from the ends of the earth. Samuel said, we will not sit down <laughs> until he arrives. He was the youngest. He may have been the weakest. He may have been the least preferred. But when the light of God spoke for him, the whole stood still until the crown of glory until the oil was poured upon his head Joshua was fighting a battle that would determine the glory and the destiny of his nation and he looked up and said sun stand where you are moon stand where you are for the first time the light of night and the light of day came together to give one man victory and I pray for somebody here whatever needs to stand still whatever needs Stand still for God to bring your glory to reality. I decree they stand still in the name of Jesus. The mistake you can make is to use your present condition to judge your destiny. Because the glory of the latter is always brighter than the glory of the former. Eyes have not seen yet, ears have not heard. It has not even entered into the heart of men. The things that God is planning to use you for. So when you make this decree again tonight, we're doing it three times. I want you not just to say it because you were told to say it. I want your heart to believe it. I want your eye to see it. And I want you to begin to imagine yourself in that reality. Light up Modibo Adama University. We reach for Christ. We shine the light. No more darkness. Light up at the Mambo Depo University. We reach for Christ. We shine the light. Now one more time. Light up at the Mambo University. We reach for Christ. We shine the light. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord wherever you are. Judgment. 
We bring justice. We bring truth to a lost generation. We are called out. We are chosen. We are priests. We are priests. We bring order. Declare it. Hey, we bring order. We bring fire. We bring light to a dead generation. We bring judgment. We bring justice. We bring truth to a Ascend the highest mountain. This the mountain of the Lord. By the blood. By the word. By the spirit. Only the voices. We are sent. We are sent. It's the mountain of the Lord. blood by the word all right say this after me say we bring order want to go we bring bring fire we bring light to a dark generation we bring judgment to the devil we bring justice to the redeemed we bring truth. We are called out. We are chosen. We are kings. We are priests. We're going to take that one more time. We bring order. Is the mountain by the blood? We ascend. Is the mountain of the Lord? For that amen that carries fire, your light will never go out. Your light will never go dim. From here to the nations of the earth, the gates of territories are released unto you. Not for fame, not for glory, but for kingdom, the Lord will use you for signs and wonders. said if your presence does not go with us how shall it be known that we are your people i decree everywhere you go when the eyes of evil of kidnappers of murderers of evil to us when they set their eyes on you they will see the light of christ I said he suffered no one to do them harm anyone who wants to snuff out or put the light of Christ in your life before they even think of it put it themselves <laughs> remember today remember today because by the announcement of the Holy Spirit, today is the beginning of the best days of your life in the name of Jesus <laughs> so shall it be in the name of the Father and of the sun.
and of the Holy Ghost. Can you wave your lights and make the devil mad? Just wave your lights. Wherever you are, wave your lights. Wherever you are, wave your lights. Wave your lights and make the devil mad. Wave your lights. Wave your lights. Wave your lights. Wave your lights. Mad. Wave your life. Let him know that you are going to light up your environment, your community. Your community. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. I will give you like five minutes to rejoice if you want to, but I want to thank our chaplain. Thank you so much, sir, for having us. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I want to thank our patron of RCF. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Our guest speakers today. Thank you so much, Apostle. Thank you so much, Pastor David. The Lord bless you. All our music ministers. Thank you so much. All the presidents of all the campus fellowships in this university and all the leaders. Thank you so much. And everyone who has attended on behalf of the visionaire of Reach for Christ, Pastor Enoch Adejari Adeboye, I want to say this declaration over your life as he says, you will be greater than him. You didn't believe it. I said you will be greater than him. God will use you for greater exploits than he has been used in the name of Jesus. First it was prayer. Then it comes. We have finished the program. This is the Holy Ghost party. This is how I win my battle. Body move. First it was prayer. Just breathe. 
with your name. Just breathe your name. Now listen. Just put your light within me. Just put your light within me. Just breathe your light within me. Just put your light within me. Hey, I hear what I Cover from this encounter. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Have a blessed night, Bodyboard Damba University. Hallelujah. 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 Um, hallelujah. Please, all workers are expected. Hallelujah. All workers are expected to wait behind, please. Okay, and the fellowship presence, if you are still around, please, you are expected to wait behind. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>